All right, champ. Uh, always so great to chat with you. Uh, first question, it's it's six in the morning where you are now. You were messaging me at five in the morning. What are you doing awake so early? Do you usually wake up this early? Do you know what? Uh, normally, especially the fight time, I begin to wake this time because in Singapore, that, like right believe it die in Singapore is maybe now, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, something, almost, something almost like nine that. Almost Yeah, yeah, because I will fight. Normally, I will fight in two hours from now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And that's the reason I wake in the, in the week for the fight. I try to be awake early. But normally, I wake 6.30. That's how we always wake early. I sleep early. I wake early. And I want to talk with you, too, because I feel bad. Yesterday, I will not make that happen. <laughs> and I say, man, I have, to, I have to go. And now I'm here to talk with you make sure I've I done this. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate you setting the early alarm. Um, it's an exciting time for you, obviously. It's been a long time since you fought, since the end of 2019, but you finally have a fight booked again. How, uh -huh. how good does it feel to be two weeks away from a fight? Not even two weeks, a week away from a fight again. Do you know what? For me, uh, because I do it for many times, many years, I fight, I compete so, mu so much. Uh, for me, I feel like I feel I, I'm ready to go there, do my job, you know what I mean? I don't feel excited. I feel very, I folks, I have to know I have to do it. And I have to make sure my mind see everything inside there. You know what I mean? For this, I try not too much distraction. I try to be no excited. I try to say, do you know why? I have to go there, do my job. That's how I really want to do it. So how have you been keeping busy since your last fight? Obviously, you've been training. But what else have you been getting up to in the time since we last saw you in the, in the cage? Do you know why? Because I have kids, right? And I, kids make you busy. You know what I mean? I have to drop the kids. So I live in Lang. Lang here, I have to. For me, going to the supermarket, I have to drive. You go everywhere, go everywhere, look after the kids and the help of my guys. My guys fight and train, you know what I mean? And that's making me busy because I'm I'm professional I'm professional mixed martial arts. What does that mean? Is that me I do this for leave, you know what I mean? For this I have to keep training, I have to make sure my body is good, make sure my mind is good. And that's making me the kids take a lot for you. I'm sure you would have preferred to fight a little bit more often over the last two years, but was is that a positive side for you, getting to spend more time with the kids, the wife, more time coaching? Is that a, a silver lining, a good thing for you? And yeah, that's for sure. You know what I mean? Training, because what happened to I still grow. I still evolve in my skill. You know what I mean? For this, what happened, I, when, like one and a half, people saw maybe go fight John Linick. I said, okay, like folks for here. And I keep it training. I already training, 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 and spend time with the kids, training, make sure everything's good in the house. You know what I mean? But definitely, that was it's a good idea to slow down and see. Wait for coronavirus things. The coronavirus not things yet, but it's it's good for take a break sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's good to slow down sometimes. Let's talk about John Lineker. Um, I've heard that you two don't like each other. Uh, is that true? I mean, what do you really think of this guy? No, no, really. Last night we talked, right? We so always, we have. He tried talk with me, and I said, "Wow, you tell shit for about my fight. You say you want to fight me. You will be old, waiting for me." He said, "No, you take your own. You, I, I'm done. I'm not that kind of person." I say, "Okay, if you're not that kind of person, why you go talk shit at the beginning? You know what I mean? You try to do something when you you talk all the time in the media. Like I don't say one thing." When I open my mouth, you take so offense. That means you have a lot of emotion, you know what I mean? I don't have nothing to that guy, but he tries to know. He said yesterday, I try to promote the fight. I say, well, I try to promote the fight, fight, you know what I mean? I make sure. But I understand he tries to say, you know what I mean? He tries to say he. I don't have to go to that guy, but when the fight is coming, you know, man, it's my job. I have to go there, protect my belt, you know what I mean? That's how I would do it. But I don't give a shit for him. Do you remember the first time you met John? The first time you heard about him? First time I hear about him here, long time ago, because he, like almost two years ago, when he signed with the one chip chip, and he said, Oh, I will come and fight the Dimitri Johnson. That's mm -hmm. I hear that in the past. I will come and fight the Dimitri Johnson. And after that, he began to win there, you know what I mean? And say, so, Oh, no, I cannot make it fight. I cannot go down. I have to give, go up. And he might division right now, and they will fight. You know, that's the first time I hear about him. And so you, you didn't beginning... watch him in the UFC? I I watch one fight with the Jidel Shot one. I watched a couple mm -hmm. fights for here before, 
but I always known that kind of, I don't, because his style is not my style, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For this, I always know big fun for that, that, the way he fight, you know what I mean? I'm not a boxer, you know what I mean? I'm, I do box, but I mean more mixed martial art, like I, my, my style go fit more with the GSP, you know what I mean? Or watch BJ Payne fight, or mm -hmm. watch Jose Aldo, that kind of style is more my. Right, right. Well, let's talk about his style. Is there anything that he does that impresses you? I know you, you don't love his style, but does he, does he do anything you like? No, he has the power with his punch, right? For the power for his punch. One thing he has is the power, but the reason he has the power that, that, that impressed me, because it's small, it's very small, and he mm -hmm. swing everything he has. That's for me, the only thing impressed me, you know what I mean? But another thing is, if you take his hands out, like, you don't have a lot of things to give, you know, before you learn, understand for him. He throw low kick there, and he come in very, very, he throw everything you have. That's one thing you need to respect, because you have the power in the hand. You mentioned that you, you think you can knock John out. You know, you think you have a chance of beating him on the feet. Is there a part of you that kind of wants to do that, just because he's the boxer, he's the striker? Do you know, again... In this way, I have to learn mixed martial art. That's the reason I keep you win. Because what happened, people think I'm the only, only jiu-jitsu. But when you get it there, I drop people, I knock people down. Not because I want, it's because it's my style. You know what I mean? I want to respect my hand for me doing what I want to do. It. But if I can connect the one into here, 100%, I will, I'll be happy with that too. He's giving me plenty is stop the piano and beat his stand up. Okay, I if you know he will want to do that, I have to adjust for him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you're not adjust for him, he will come in. I cannot do my take down. I cannot strike with him. For this, I say I have to mix with him because I know what he tried to do. He want me to stop my take down. And he will give you big explosion. He go, you know what I mean? For this, I have to be very smart to what I want to do here. You can't do what he's expecting right away. Yeah. But if you if you do get the fight to the ground, does he have any chance of surviving a, a jiu-jitsu fight with you? I don't think he wants jiu-jitsu, in my opinion. I don't think he wants to do jiu-jitsu. In my opinion, he's come, he's training America top team. And what does that mean? The America top team game, he's used a lot of the cage for stand-up. You know what I mean? And do you take it out, he run to the cage and try stand-up. That's the style that they have. And I start a lot that, that style he has for this. In the ground, I don't think he want to be there. I 100% I don't think so. He go panic, he go try stand up. That's a 100% he go try to do it. And then I will try to use some scramble, see how it go. Assuming this fight goes your way, no matter how you win, have you given any thought to, to who's next for a bantamweight title shot after John? I like to go fight by fight, right? But I will. I I believe he have the Korea boy there. I forgot his name now. He's pretty good. He try. One, he one is, he, what is his name? Kwon Wan Il. Kwon Wan Il. He deserves, you know what I mean? He did a pretty good job with that. He's the next the line. Doesn't matter me or John Lennick. He, he, he's supposed to get it. There. He's supposed to get the chance. So th there's a lot of, you know, young, new contenders in your division right now. As the champion, do you sort of watch their fights, watch the new guys come up? Or yeah, do you just I, sort I of watch it. No, so I watch it. For, for, for one job cheap, 100% I watch. For another organization, no. For one shop keep, I watch everyone there because that's the reason I'm here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have to know what is coming next. So by the time these guys have earned title shots, you've already seen them fight a few times. You're already familiar with them. Yeah, I know who he is. I know the style they have. You know what I mean? The strength, the power, the 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 knowledge. You know what I mean? I I watch. I have to ask: Is it a relief that there are so many new contenders in the division because it means you won't have to fight Kevin Bellingham again for a long time? Oh my God! Trust me. Another thing is. Fighting John Lineke is the best thing happy for me. You know what I mean? Because one championship push you, Kevin so hard for fighting me. And finally, right now, I will fight somebody new and I have to adjust new style. And again, fighting John Lineke is good because he, if watch the way I fight to Kevin, I have to chase that guy 25 minutes with John Lineke. I don't have to do that because he want to come and fight. He want to take you down, you know what I mean? He want to knock you. For this good, because that kind of guy, I don't fight the, like the one guy like that, I fight the Ostakaya in 2009. That was the time, the style I had a long time ago. And finally, I will face this style again. 
when you were in that rivalry with Kevin, fighting him over the course of several years, over and over and over again, was it difficult for you to stay motivated, just facing the same challenge over and over? Yeah, because we were happy I beat the guy easily. Fist fight was easy, right? Mm-hmm. The second fight, the second fight was now he's coming. You're right. He really want to come in. Was I think I still win the fight, honestly, in my opinion. But one championship to be for here. That's okay. You know what I mean? I move for. Second one, he give the elbow. In the number 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 four, I say, fuck this guy. I know what's going on. They the whole just try to push this guy for win this fight and make he new champion. You know what I mean? Nick young guy coming, you know what I mean? But then know why I said I will choke this guy this one. I'll put mm-hmm. this lead. And then number four, I went to that. And that day, I was so motivation. I'm so surprised because I said, fuck it, I will fight with the Kevin and the whole his country. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I choked him. Thank you, God. I was there in the building for that one. I remember seeing oh, it. It was, it was, a, it was a, a great win. Um, I wanted to ask you about Demetrius Johnson. You guys are obviously good friends, longtime training partners. But with <clears> coronavirus, <throat> you know, it's difficult to travel between the United, the United States and Canada. Have you been able to see much of him, able to do much much training with him lately? No, no, no. I train a lot in Canada. We talk, he say what I have to do with the with the with the John Link. We talk about ideas. He said, Oh, you think about my fight? I say, Well, I think you can take it down and finish this guy because he's a Muay Thai guy. He, his hip will be very different. He's not go hip, low hip, you know what I mean? He don't do it that because he's Muay Thai guys. And so easy for take down. For this, in my opinion, it's easy for you. Go there, do your job, strike if you want, wait for the time and take it down. And he will take his day back and he don't know stand up for the cage. I think it'll be, in my opinion, it'll be easy fight. It's supposed to be easy fight for GJ. Mm-hmm. I, w- I wanted to ask you about that matchup. It sounds like you think, you know, as long as he survives that first round, he'll win by submission. A hundred percent. Yeah. Because it, it, it's, it's Muay Thai guy. You know what is Muay Thai doing? His, his hip is very different. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wrestling is low hip. You know what I mean? You have to lower your hip for Brock to take it down. Muay Thai don't do that. It's very up and me. You know what I mean? I don't think it go. I think it'll be easy. In my opinion, but maybe I'm wrong. DJ has said in interviews that he's he's willing to to you know strike with Rod Tang in that first round. He's he's not going to back down from a Muay Thai and Muay Thai fight in that first round. When you're speaking to him, exchanging advice with him, do you say you know DJ maybe be careful with that? Uh, I would say be careful, but I don't say that for here. But for you, for the power, I say yeah, be careful because why is it be careful? Because he had a bad knockout for the last one. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I don't. I don't think he's bring heat like that quick. You know what I mean? And if you get one good punch, I think you can go down again for that kind of knockout they have in the past. You know what I mean? If you have no knockout, I would say you're fine. But because he did, I would say, mm, be careful. Right. This this fight was supposed to happen in December at the original 1X card, this Raw Tang and DJ fight. So you think maybe it's a good thing, actually, in the end that it was moved back because it gave him more time uh-huh. to rest? A hundred percent. He give less he more recover for his brain recovery, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know if he take his brain serious. I don't know if he is having some take some fish oil or omega three, you know what I mean? Something like that for helping his brain. Speaking of uh, special rules fights, last time I talked to you, the John Lineker fight wasn't official yet. You were getting very eager to fight, and you said you would love to fight. Special rules fight, jujitsu, wrestling, McDonald's parking lot. You didn't care what, you just wanted to fight. Now that you have a fight booked. Do you, are you still interested in special rules stuff or you just want to focus on MMA for now? Uh, I, I'm, I'm open, you know what I mean? Some Brazilian people could promotion because they have some big fight, fight the box there. So oh, do you think about fight the box? Man, man. first one folks in Jolinic. After that, I can go whatever guys want, you know what I mean? I don't, I fight it. I fight, I, I like competition, that's it. The competition I like, you know what I mean? Like if you ask Bibiano how you feel about, how you feel one week before the fight, I said, man, I do this for 27 years. How I feel? Training for training is one thing. Compete is, I mastered that one. For this, I mastered the emotion for competition. I, after compete, if the guy asks, hey, do you want to do some jiu-jitsu tournament? Do you want to do your box competition? Do you want to do the roles in Muay Thai, like semi-DJ do? I said, ah, oh, for sure I would do it. 
would would one championship let you compete in in boxing outside of outside of one championship i don't think so uh, i guess i guess we'll see if the time is coming i can ask hey buddy what's going on there? yeah yeah if you good publicity yes right right all right well let's uh, circle back to to your career last time i talked to you you mentioned that retirement is not uh, not really on your mind right now you just you're taking it one fight at a time is that still true? You're sort of still uh, planning on fighting for quite a while. A hundred percent. Do you know what? I train so hard. I train. I train. My uh, my coach told me uh, yesterday that I was training the gym. Right? I was there training footwork. He looked at me like that, and he said, "BB, slow. You like you train like twenty five year old." I said. <laughs> I said. I I have fight come. He said, "But slow down now a little bit. You know, I mean, you don't have to go like that." Let the time, let the body, let the body recover. And I say, okay, I will slow down. <laughs> Do you still feel like a 25 year old? Do you know my body, my, I, I don't have a lot of damage in my body, right? For this, I feel, I don't know how they feel. That's the truth. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because for me, when you go compete, I compete with the kids that very good grappling, very good boxing, very good jiu-jitsu. And I'm still fine. I'm. I don't feel like I'm slowed down. You know, I mean, I'm still picky because when I train, I I do some mistake. I figure out myself in the train. I say, hey, my coach say, okay, you make a mistake, and I say, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. You know what I mean? When you don't see the mistake, you do it. That's the problem. So f- for you, when when do you know? Like, how do you know when it's time to think about retirement? What hap- What has to happen for you to start thinking about? You know, maybe it's it's time to retire. I think you begin in the gym, in the training. If your training right. is not there anymore, I think you're good. If you hurt, you feel inside. I believe you will feel inside yourself. But because I did this for many years, my body is prepared to always compete. That's what I tell you. Do you know mm-hmm. the horse, the, the, the horse, the, the race horses? Yeah. When you race something for a long time, my body natural go understand that. Like right now, I begin coming in the fight mode. That's how I am right now. Fight mode is I have to be very careful what I do it right now because my my body release some kind of energy you know what I mean and I have to understand the mesh that's the coming a mesh that energy because some people freak for me is one job you know what I mean for this one you, that's the the difference between it and I have people in my in the gym that go compete and the people cry people don't can handle it themselves I say what. What the fuck is this? You know, what I mean? no man, it's is the he, and understand the technique because you train every day, and what you want to do, you want to go there, you do your best, performance your best. But again, everybody have different emotion, right? Some people very angry, some people like talk too much. It's, for me, I'm calm down and I do my job. Well, I'm very glad to hear. As a, as a fan of yours, I'm glad to hear that uh, you plan on fighting for a while longer. You still feel good. Uh, before I let you go, uh, do you have a prediction for this fight with John Lineker? Any particular way you see it going? Do you know what, brother? That's the truth. I I will say I want to finish here, but I'm surprised if I drop here. That's one. Second one, I don't want to go fight the house. I want. I said for I said for John Lineker last night. I said, buddy. I don't want to go five rounds for this. Is you or me? You know what I mean? Do you want five mm-hmm. rounds? I don't. You know what I mean? For this, please come fight. If you want to knock me out, please come on. Let's do this. You know what I mean? But I don't think you go five rounds. I don't want to go five rounds. You know what I mean? I want to we'll go there. I know he will come and swim and do his stuff. I would, I would try to find my way inside there. But I want to finish that guy. I will say three rounds. But never know you never know that's what makes this sport exciting right yeah you never know for this i'm i'm thankful and really thank you so much for the time i'm sorry for yesterday i tried so oh, I, have, I have to go to the dotton i have to go training i had another interview i said you know i had to escape some interview and one jump to say hey guy maybe hey, you forget two interviews i'm sorry i i have to do it the dotton too because my test was delayed like i have to do some corona test before I try mm-hmm. without that too, you know right. what I mean? But finally, thank you, God, everything is perfect. And finally, I speak to you today. Yeah, yeah, no worries at all, man. You're a busy man. You're the champ. You've got a lot going on. I'm, I'm just glad we finally got the chance to, to speak. Do you have any message for your fans before I let you go? Well, my fans can in the friends. If everybody on the planet, thank you guys for supporting me. When I fight, I'll fight for you guys. 
I, I have that kind of t-shirt, right? The flash t-shirt, right? And I give you, I have a lot and not for the kids. I make it like, it's my, my guy from, do the t-shirt for me. He make it wrong. He gave me like 20 kids size, like between nine and between 10 to, to six, right? Mm -hmm. I said, buddy, why you did that? I, I don't know. I don't know a lot of kids. And I, I said, kids, give it for your friends, this t-shirt, because it's too small. I, my, I cannot give this for people, right? And my kids give for his friends, right? And one day, my son, the guy, my son, friend, Loki, he come in my house, say, oh, my friend in school told me, I'm no fighter. I cannot fight. I say, don't worry about it. You don't have to fight. I'll fight for you. For this, what I say is, for you guys, you that you don't can fight or you go through something right now, guys, I will help you. I motivate you. We keep you move forward. You know what I mean? That's I do this for many times. People text me, people for for Indonesia, Bibiano, Salamane, you know what I mean? Like, what? The... Lost, keep it going, you know what I mean? I try to inspire people. Life is not easy, but please don't give up, you know what I mean? Don't give up, let's keep it moving because good things come for me, for you, for everybody there.